back to the channel. Today we are back on another video, obviously, and we are going to be playing Smasher Pass. But not really Smasher Pass! We're playing Date or Hate. <laughs> So it's like, would you romantically involve yourself with this person and not be like physically intimate with them? Correct. Because today we're going to be doing this with characters from Fruits Basket. If you guys don't know what Fruits Basket is, it's an anime. And don't worry, I didn't know what it was either. We did this last time with Jujutsu Kaisen characters, except we did Smasher Pass and we were very vulgar. If you want to watch that, that should be linked up above in the card. And I'm going to make a playlist about Smasher Pass because most likely we'll be doing more of these for the next three years while I do live with her. I'm excited. So, do you want to give a brief synopsis on what Fruits Basket is about? So, I've told you this many a times, but for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, Fruits Basket is basically um, what a uh, weeb like me would call a, show a typical shoujo romance um, anime. And shoujo is supposed to like tend to the little girl audience, basically. It deals with the main character who's recently orphaned. And so basically she lives in a tent. I know it's stupid, but it's anime, so don't expect anything. She stumbles across like one of her classmates' houses. She finds out that her her classmate and all her all her classmates' cousins have this curse that if somebody of the opposite sex hugs them, they turn into one of the zodiac animals. Um, obviously, because a lot of these characters are not of legal age, they're still in high school. We are aging them up for the sake that we are both nineteen. So, we have to age them up, other than or we would be pedophiles. <laughs> and we're not, so we are going to be aging them up. And also that's the reason we did Date or Hate, because, you know, it's still weird that we're aging them up and we're smashing or passing. But Shreta will be letting me know if I can smash them, because... <laughs> Some of them are like in their late 20s. We have Kyo. I remember hearing about him because we did a PowerPoint night and she presented on characters that she likes in anime, and he was one of them. So, uh, let's begin. Cat boy to the extreme. Left out of everything but does not care at this point. Constant fighting spirit. Capacity to fall hard like in love. Yes. Constant guilt. Cinnamon roll in disguise. His picture is next to the word sundere and the, I, do we do love a good sundere. Mean men. Dasha, would you like to describe what a sundere is? Sundere's are like, you know when you have a guy best friend and he like makes fun of you like endlessly and he's like, no, I hate you. But you know he doesn't. But he, you get that vibe from him. That is a sundere. Could use tons of therapy, tons of childhood trauma and abuse. I'm gonna say, I can't hate him, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I dislike. <laughs> oh, be kind of attractive. I feel like if he gives me, I don't know how to explain this. There's a very certain character he reminds me of that I'm completely blanking on. Might be a high Q guy, honestly. I do think he's cute. I especially like this photo. This one? Mm hmm I think that one's cute. He's a fighter. Stuart Little. Okay. I'm 5'4". Okay? I'm average height, which means I would like to look up at my boyfriend. You know? Oh, he, he'll be taller than you. Why'd you say he's Stuart Little then? What type of animal is Stuart Little? A rat? Oh. Popular kid who really didn't want to be popular. Tired of toxic friends. Prince of his high school. There's le a legit Prince Yuki fan club. Not standoffish when he turns on girls. Intolerant towards annoying people. Karate mouse. Good at studies, 100%. Again, could use lots of therapy. What's the hate? I hate. Now that I'm looking at him, also, he's really not my type. <laughs> he's femboy. And I know it, I've stated to her several times, my type in men, her type in men, is men with very feminine features. Like, very delicate. Like, giving very much men written by women. Um, this is... This is a man written by a team of women. <laughs> I feel like my type is very much like... I'll give you an example of like the vibe I'm going for is like Dave Patel. Oh, you know what I mean? Because I that is an attractive ass man. I can see why people would like him. I feel like he has a very specific appeal. Like I feel like he's your type mm -hmm. rather than mine. Mm -hmm. She has like... I like women... I like men written by women and like that kind of sense. But she likes men written by like... A, like an army a tea party of women yeah like just a group like that you can tell they're super femme which is great to each their own <laughs> but not my type playboy magazine smashable age by the way he's 28 okay cool this will be smash or pass dog energy but not a golden retriever probably more of a german shepherd or Serbian husky will play you <laughs> author but like a sus does he like 
No, he doesn't. Does he like write yaoi? No, he doesn't. Why, why is he sus? He's kind of. Is he kind of like he kind of he writes like weird stuff? Yeah. Like what weird stuff? It's like the slightest bit perverted, right? Um, literally, Mott wants to make his editor commit Sudoku. By the way, um, she says seppuku as Sudoku, fine yeah. as beans somehow. We'll fall in love. Let me have that moment. We'll fall in love, but expresses love in a harsh manner. Ah, I'm sensitive. Also, him being perverted makes I feel like that like increases his likelihood to cheat. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. So the way Shigure is is like he's he's very tough love. Like if he loves I'm you, tough love. We can't both be tough you, love. He, 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 had, he either completely adores you, or he wants to smother you with his love so much that it'll kill you. It's giving yandere. I'm gonna have to say, okay, to his credit, if he looks cute, I might smash one night. Definitely not date. Okay. The, uh, like, this is a one night stand. Certain frames, man. Certain frames. Certain pictures you've put... I'm considering it. <laughs> like, he almost looks nice in this one. Right? Way. It's deceiving. And then you see him in this one, and then it's a different person. But no, it, my, my answer is still the same. It's a one-night stand. Cross between a heterozygous... <laughs> what on earth? A heterozygous Sunday and a heterozygous Yandere. So both. Cutesy but will beat you up. Cannot and will not get over her crush on Kyo. I don't think I can date this girly. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had an issue with this in the last video I did, which was, uh, which was I, not... I oh, is it, it about Utah? It was, yeah, it's about Utah. Kotsu Utah from uh, JGK, but his deal was that he has a dead ex-girlfriend that haunts him. That he also turned into a monster, so he doesn't even, she doesn't even look like a human anymore. She looks crazy. Needs to calm down. Oh, God. By the way, you've described her, and the rest of them is needs to calm down, nice person to friends in general, and just don't get on her bad side. I think she needs more than just minor therapy. She's, a, she's one of the characters that needs the least therapy. Okay, well, she needs as much. This is an attachment issue. I feel like if I would date her, if she just got over Kyo and went to therapy. <laughs> like, there are certain characters I would date if they did that. Like, Kyo is an example, because I thought he was kind of cute. But, like, she's another one. She certainly, she certainly would have been my type if it was, like, a few years ago you showed me this. Mm -hmm. She's just very cottagecore, which is not a bad thing. It's just that it was my type when I was, like, in sixth grade. So, yeah. I love how you pl put plays the violin in aggressively large font. <laughs> <laughs> Looks younger than he is because of the curse. Could use therapy and lots of love. He's not getting it from me. <laughs> kind of, kind of cute at the same time. May look young, but has way more maturity compared to other characters. I feel like my type is older men. Uh, if it's a guy, it has to be older. But like, he's not that much younger. I know, no, 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 I know he's not that much younger. But if he looks younger than he actually is, considering whatever his age is, like he could be seventeen and look like fourteen. <laughs> like I'm gonna look like I groomed him. <laughs> I don't want to look like that. Show. He needs to date someone more age appropriate. It's gonna have to be a, a dislike. I don't think I hate him. I just I just don't want to date him. That is a child. I'm not. No, girl, that's a child. Would you date this guy? I mean, I know his character. Out of okay, out of the people we have gone through, who would you date? Because I feel like I haven't been asking you properly. Like, for oh, I'll just throw the names. Of you date you right? He has guts, but he's really attractive. Yeah, one night stand. You don't have to stay with him for the rest of your life. Had 28. Okay. I had to sacrifice a beautiful relationship to keep his family happy. So was it like the family didn't accept the person? Um, yes. The head of the family blinded him out of rage. Blinded him? And his, um, his fiance went mad because she thought that he was blind because of her, so he had to let her go. If you're out there blinding people that make you upset, you should go to therapy. And then to jail. <laughs> yeah, just do but us he, all a favor. You have to turn erase her memories. That, should, that must have sucked for him. Next, he's a doctor. So my question is, he's a blind doctor. He's like partially blind. In one eye. I'm so done with everyone, but still helps him anyway. I feel like that's also kind of like, uh, toxic behavior, I feel like. Fine. Dot, dot, dot. 
so fine. A gentleman could use some sleep in a peaceful love life. Oh, he's friends with Sugar Ray. Should be a red flag in itself. I it feel like, okay, I would date him if not for the family. If he wasn't related, then I feel like it would be fine. There's a problem. Everybody in, the, like, all the Somas have this, like, choking connection with their family. Like, even if they don't want to be connected, it's like they're forced to be connected with the family. I'm gonna have to say hate. Please, so good looking. Wait, in which eye is he partially blind? He looks The one that's covered with hair. That's why he's partially blind. Because his ha <laughs> face is half covered with hair. That's on him. <laughs> you know how you can fix that problem, Shweta? Come. <laughs> Pulling Debbie Ryan. Yeah. But no, he didn't. So, that's why he's blind. <laughs> Oops. That one guy who looks attractive and everything, but has a really... Oh, gosh. Before I begin... What does he turn into? A cow. A what? A cow. Go mata! <laughs> I feel like I have to date him. <laughs> I would be betraying my motherland if I didn't date him. Playboy with the good type, fruity undertones, loves his family. Would appreciate if people left him alone. Legit has a dark side which is supposedly more crazy in many ways. His bright side is very calm and composed though, usually. I don't think I can take the dark side seriously seeing as he turns into Goamata. If you don't know what Goamata means, is that uh, Indians, cows are very sacred. They represent like the goddess. And so cows just are everywhere. Date. Yes! I've done it. I've done it. I'm so happy. I've done I'm it. I'm so happy. The only thing that's making me kind of pissed off is the really off fashion sense, but it's okay. Taro is worth it. I can fix that. I can't fix, fix him, him, but I, I can, can fix, fix that. that. <laughs> he's so attractive. He's so attractive. He's probably the best one that's come out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery zodiac animal. You can guess if you want. Okay, so we've had a cow. We've had a cat. We have a mouse. We have a boar. We have a seahorse. <laughs> we have a dog. Sheep. Not yet. Is Ayame a tiger? Is Ayame a snake? I love me a good snake. Um, Yuki's older brother, Shigure's bestie. Oh, why are you besties with him? Just wants his brother to admire him. You want Yuki, the rat man, to admire you? You eat him. <gasps> you come above him in the food chain. So what it's about, that. Fashionista, owns a dress shop, fruity undertones. That one kid who was in theater and you thought he was gay, but he was probably just bi. Um, I don't like that he's Shigure's bestie, but other than that, I'm gonna say smash and date because I think also this is like just Haru if he had better dress sense oh my god this man <laughs> is so fruity <laughs> that is not fruity undertones girl that's fruity tones it's like a it's like a on joke like during the duration of the thing that he's like in that he and Shigure have a thing <laughs> before we go on to the next character I've actually wanted to wait until you finished Ayami so I could tell you who was voiced by. I bet it's Giyu. I don't like Giyu. It's become a running joke at this point that I don't like him. It's one of her favorite characters. I just I just can't get behind him. I just don't like his character design, first off. I don't like him. I think his eyes look bland as hell. I've seen other characters that don't have pupils, and they still look good. It's just him. <laughs> it's just him. It's very hilarious, because Giyu, Giyu and uh, Ayame are poles apart. They're pulls apart. Know, that's why I want to date him. <laughs> also, I got a Slurpee at 7-Eleven. This is fruit juice now. Look at that. Very sugary fruit Look juice at that. that. Yeah, let's try it. Mm. I'm getting hydrated. <laughs> I, pr I love the starting one. Is I promise he's a guy. Is he an ox? Is he a rooster? Is he a monkey? He just likes wearing girl clothes. It makes him feel more comfortable. Is not fruity. Kind of like a Darren Chris wearing nail polish but in a more shy and apologetic way. Will not stop saying sorry. Kind overall comic relief. Honestly, imagine about the money, like the money that would save is that we share the same wardrobe. Right? Yeah. I, I hope he's my height first though. I'm he sure. probably is. He's probably like just a little taller than you. I will date him. I, I'm actually kind of in love with him now. I don't know why. I keep looking at him and I'm like, you're kind of mesmerizing. It's the eyes. The I hate everyone but you archetype. So she would do that for for me. 
Yes. Tons of trauma and abuse. I love how you... Okay, my favorite part about, like, all of her PowerPoints is that she goes from 0 to 60 really, really easily. Red hair. And then it goes to... His mother tried to kill him at the age of five. Needs therapy, but more than anything, needs love. I think he needs therapy more than that. I don't understand when people are like, I don't need therapy because I have you. Go to therapy either way. How about I take you to therapy? You are not, you are not my passion project. You're supposed to be my partner. I'm not going to spend my time sitting here trying to fix you. My job is to just help you. Correct. Yearns for a motherly figure. Will fight to the end for the one person they love the most. That's kind of cute. Fashion, kind of emo, but on point. Yeah, I'll date. I'll date. I'll date her. It's giving May from Avatar The Last Airbender. But I love her character design. Mm -hmm. Like, see, her eyes in some of the photos, they're blind, they're bl bland and emotionless, but at least she pulls it off, other than that gi guy. Is so done with everyone who wants to find true love and explore the outside world. Is he a rooster? Okay, cannot move past his path. Past okay, Karen was also special. He's 26. Chillerous, caring, gingerish brunette, helpless? He's stuck in a helpless situation. Okay. Free but not. Is it the family thing again? I'm gonna date him and then free him. I don't know how to explain this, but he gives me like Jacob Ellerty vibes. Uh. I kinda see it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially the, this photo where he's just standing like an unmanned sin. <laughs> Terrifying. Probably the root of all childhood trauma. Also has childhood trauma. Was not raised by with love by their mom. Spoiled to the core by their dad. Crazy about Yuki. Crazy about wanting to be loved. Zero communication skills. If they loved you, they are crazy about you. This is a hate. Underline if they love you, they are crazy about you. I know, but I don't want that. But yeah, you don't want a cute. Terrifying. I will tell you what You Akito started off by saying you. they're terrifying and then ended it with they're crazy about you. I don't want that energy. Like, that's giving, like, yandere, but, like, to the point, like, if they would probably kill me. They would probably kill me if I said no to that. I think Akito is one of the characters that... What's, what's your decision? He's Akito? a pass, dude! Look at this roster! You remember how we were talking about our buddy Shigure earlier? Mm-hmm. Akito and Shigure are head over heels for each other. But it's, like, very dangerous, though. I don't want to date either. Honestly, they can have each other. Akito is the god... What? That explains so much. <laughs> Hence the one who blinded Hattori. And this Akito is the head of the family? Is a woman. She, she needs to go to jail. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I love how you started this, though. The most comforting and non-toxic anime main character you've ever seen. Orphan at a young age, toxic extended family. Does she turn into anything or not? If she's the main character, she just won't turn it. Cooks and cleans, you think she was like Snow White, but she's ten times more useful and ten times more fun. Everyone who thinks Snow White is all cracked up, like if you think all the early Disney movies are like the best ones, they teach such toxic messages to young women. Because I think about it, in the beginning, they didn't want women to think for themselves. So they obviously they portrayed the main character to be as like reliant on male validation as possible. Like the three that I come to mind that are like are great definitions of like they don't teach that is Mulan. Um, the Princess and the Frog, and um, Frozen with Elsa. Elsa had the best line where she's like, you don't marry someone you just met. Right? Elsa had a brain where it needed to be. Always there to lend a shoulder, will sacrifice herself to protect the one she loves, loves it when her friends and loved ones are happy and at peace, somehow finds the good in every single person, appreciative of those around her and is everyone's therapist who could be used a little therapy for herself. I would date. I think I would date just because she seems like such a sweet person and I feel like that'd be a really healthy relationship. Oh, she's adorable. This is our main character, by the way. She's adorable. I made a good choice. So this is the best friend. She's a gang girl. I'm already gonna date her. Doesn't need therapy because her best friend somehow turned her life around 360. That's really cute. Punkish in the sense that she will beat you up if you offend her bestie. Well, seeing as I'm dating her bestie, I will also be a people up, okay? Looking for that one true love, hoping that one true love will be a gentleman. Um, I can be Not like a man, but like... I can be a gentleman. Yeah. Give me a chance, girl. Let's see. <laughs> you know, at the end, I want to tell you who ends up with who. I just forgot how to date her. She, I, she's my favorite so far, mm -hmm. besides Haru. This she's actually favorite. very similar to uh, Toru's mom. Toru's mom was a gang girl. So I'm probably also going to end up dating Toru's mom. But she's not on here. Elf. Yeah. <laughs> 
Tori's best friend, number two. Extremely, extreme fruity undertones. Wave girl, she can detect that bad aura. Emo to another level, dark humor for dinner. Will go to any end to protect Toru since she was her first true friend. Can creep some people out. Comes in handy when the Prince Yuki Club is after Toru for no reason. Good older sister. She okay. has a younger brother named Megumi. Megumi? <laughs> it's a common Japanese name. Megumi the spiky head? <laughs> no. It's Megumi the high <laughs> Megumi in the pin cushion? <laughs> Stop judging Megumi. <laughs> Look at Megumi right now and tell me he needs to use less hair gel. That's what I thought. <laughs> I think I date her just because I see a lot of myself in her. I think I also see a lot of you in her. Yeah. I think you're very much a Toru. Yeah, you're like a, like a, a carbon copy. <laughs> Except you're not Japanese. Yeah. And you're not like 17. <laughs> Honestly, hard date. I love her. Her style is really nice. Like, I know, like, I think majority of it takes place with them in, like, school uniforms, right? But, like, I think her style, like, even, like, choosing the black Cinderella dress is really nice. Like, it's giving very much, like, gothic, like, a Victorian. Yuki's bestie will not stop getting on Yuki's nerves. Got past a battle for inheritance, which he eventually lost and was able to pretend like it never happened. <laughs> Supportive best friend who can and will make you laugh when you are down. Bold yet laid back, watered down version of Ayami, according to Yuki. I think I would, I would date. Oh, he's giving Tom Holland. <laughs> he's giving Tom Holland or like that makes sense. Lewis Partridge, one of the two. Is he like the class clown type or like what is he? He is. Okay, cool. I'd, I'd still date him. So you want to tell me who dates who? Okay, this is a huge spoiler because all of this only happens in the third season. Haru ends up with Kyo. Haru, Haru and Rin. Oh, that's cute. Wait, I like that. Haru and Rin. One that picture that you saw was Haru and Rin. One, kind of, one, one person can't dress, one of them is very good at dressing. It's really cute. Um, Now I'm thinking about her picking his outfits. Because that would be the only thing that saves That'd be very me. cute. Shigori and Akito do end up together. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like either of them. Hattori actually ends up with um, one of their teachers, but- What? Let me tell you, let me tell you what it is. She knows the curse. Because she used to be friends with Hattori's fiance, but she had unrequited love for Hattori. And she like had to date Shigori to like pretend, like to get her brain out of this horrible. You don't want to date Shigori. No one does. Right? Where has that mouth been? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she actually ends up with Hattori because he like, he's able to open his heart up again. Does the family approve this time? Yes. Yuki ends up with uh, Manabe's stepsister. Oh, Arisa and Kareno. Wait, they're actually like so cute. Ayame, it's not like um you know you haven't seen who he ends up with, but uh it's like she's in one of the background pictures, but he actually ends up with the um one of his like so you know you know how he owns like a dress shop? And so he ends up with like his coworker in the dress shop. Oh my god, workplace romance. Right? I was wanting to ask. If we both were in like a romance trope, what would it be? Like knowing where we are right now. I really like, want to have a Tori Q romance trope. Um, Grumpy Sunshine. <gasps> Wait, we do. We just need to find you like the foulest <laughs> nude man on campus, and then just set you up with him. <laughs> and let's hope he's a brown babu. <laughs> There's a lot of requirements that she needs. I feel like you would have like one of those I hate everyone but you tropes like but they would hate everyone but you because I'm such a catch I'm just kidding but I am I'm gonna put this out there I do YouTube because I like learning how to talk more comfortably when people are watching me um, so this is like a good way because now I'm watching myself and I'm also with Shweta because Shweta is now watching me talk so now I'm learning how to be more effective in communicating again I don't make videos to get viral i would love to have a boyfriend that like watches all the videos and like comments on that'd them so and we cute. have like inside jokes based on them i should know that would be so cute i feel like that'd be really adorable i also we were talking about this earlier we did like a pony for you night which is very fun not even a pony for you night it was more like a pony party party yeah i we were talking about ideal first dates do you want to share what yours was so first of all we like drive to the place by yourself because it's like a first date so you don't want to depend on them to like drive you to wherever you're going and I said uh, it would be nice if I could go to a glazery and like by a glazery I don't mean a donut shop we're not going to Krispy Kreme on our first date <laughs> but like a glazery is basically like those kind of pottery places like or sometimes you can do pottery but you can kind of paint 
the pottery and they'll glaze it for you. And I love glazeries. I feel like art is so calming so you can converse over art. And like, I felt like if some eating needed to be done, then we could go to like a cafe after. I would like to do a bookstore date or like a book swap. It's one of the two. I would love to do like a bookstore date and like we go to like Barnes and Nobles with like Books A Million or something. We just buy each other books that we, we ourselves have already read and we're buying them a copy or something. I would also like to do a book swap where it's like I give him my favorite books and he gives me his. I feel like you learn a lot about someone by their taste in books. But yeah, that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been nice. I'm glad that you were able to actually date people. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm actually very surprised. I got kind of scared at the beginning because you were like passing so many people and <laughs> I was like, no. Some of them are good. This will probably end up being a series, um, not only with anime, but also maybe I will make a PowerPoint and make her react to it. Or maybe we might bring Sachi and I really want to do a BTS one. I want to do a BTS one, yes, but I also want to do a Vampire Diaries one because I know for a fact you and Sachi haven't watched it. Oh, okay. And I have watched the Vampire Diaries. I have watched the originals. I have watched Legacies. Oh, Lord. I have watched all three spin-offs of the same thing. And I'm gonna make one. Um, I do have a lot of exciting things coming up. I do want to react to Heartstopper with you. Mm, I want to watch just it. Just because I feel like, I talked about this in my India vlog that is out now. Is it? Straight that here loves queer romance. And I feel like it make her heart happy if we watch together. Yes. Yeah, so we're just gonna watch that together. You wanna say it together? Do you remember? Kind of. Three, two, one. Stay, stay safe, safe stay, stay sane, sane stay, stay sanitary. sanitary. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Like and subscribe. And